Andy, thank you. As lawmakers prepare to head to Richmond for the legislative session, Attorney General Mark Herring is rallying support for a set of bills to protect Virginians. A new report from state police found hate crimes are up 30% in the Commonwealth. That includes racially motivated assaults and vandalism. Ten on your side's Jason Marks spoke with Herring after he introduced several bills aimed at reducing hate crimes and white supremacist violence. And Jason, it's not the first time that he's introduced this type of legislation. And Lena, if it seems like you've heard these things out of Herring before, it's because you have. He has tried to get similar measures passed through the legislature in the past, but he says they've always been bottled up by the Republicans. <laughs> Though we haven't seen anything like this scene back in Charlottesville in 2017, the Attorney General says hate crimes are still out there. Well, we've seen an alarming rise in hate crimes in Virginia and across the country in the last few years. And Mark Herring says the numbers back that up. Hate crimes have risen 31% in the state since 2012. Last year alone, there were 161 hate crimes reported. You know, it is really heartbreaking to talk to Virginians who have felt fear over the last couple of years because of how they worship or what they look like or what their sexual orientation is. Herring has pushed for stronger legislation against hate crimes in the past. He says the Republican-controlled legislature stopped them from becoming laws. It is really important that we not only send a message that that kind of hate uh, will not be tolerated in Virginia, but that we also couple that with action. That action would give the Attorney General more power to prosecute hate crimes throughout the Commonwealth and would call for stronger penalties for those who are found guilty. We are a Commonwealth that is open and welcoming to everyone, and we want to make sure that the kind of hate and rhetoric does not take root in any community in Virginia. Last year, Herring says he went around the state talking to folks about hate crimes and was shocked what he heard in Hampton Roads. People who have lived in the Hampton Roads region for decades, who've always felt comfortable there, now feeling like they have to look over their shoulder or they're not going to be served in a, in a grocery store or that they could be the victim of a crime just because of their national origin or something like that, that should have no place in our commonwealth. Herring also hopes these bills will close a loophole, barring anyone who's convicted of a hate crime from carrying a gun. That's the latest here in the newsroom. Jason Marks, 10 on your side.